Today my video is not about picking locks but about some old antique Chinese locks which I have. Probably quite a few of my friends in the lock picking community won't have seen these. Um, they are from my collection which I got in China when I was living there. Um, I'm just going to show you them and how totally different they are. This is the key to this lock. It fits in there. And as you push it in, it allows this to come out. And you can see how utterly different it is from the Western type locks. As this key goes in, it squeezes these sprung elements together inside the body of the lock and that releases them from something inside the lock, allowing it to open up. I'll put that back in there. There it is. It looks as though it can be used both sides, but in fact it can't. Going in that way, it doesn't work. The difference between one side and the other is absolutely minute, but going in this way and the lock opens. Quite an unusual lock compared to all the western locks um, that we are picking nowadays. And that folds down. This is solid brass. I think this might be a steel. I don't know. No, it hasn't gone rusty. It is just brass. This is another one. This is also brass. And to access this one, this is the key. Again, utterly, utterly different from the Western locks. And to get this into position, you have to put it in this way and then turn it and push it forwards. Okay, one more time, not in the right position. There it goes and out comes the lock. Now, the system is quite similar, as you can see. There are a couple of springs there, and when the key goes in, what it does is go over those springs, which close them together, which allows them to release from the what flanges inside. So, totally different shape of key from the previous lock. And there we go. And now to these two. These are solid brass. I think they represent uh, fish, which in Chinese culture, especially goldfish, are particularly good luck. And here is the key looks quite similar to this one and that I think this is the right key also goes in first like that and then turn and there we go the same system as the previous one as you can see the springs there the key goes over those springs push them together to release them from the flange which holds the locket, which holds this part in place. Now, 
as you can see, these two are very similar, made by the same lock maker, okay? Uh, also representing a fish. Um, however, this one has a totally, totally different key. Doesn't look anything like this at all. That's because this key, when it goes in, perhaps you can see, what happens here is the key goes in between these sprung flanges here, pushing them together, again, to release from the flanges at the end. So, the question is, do we have any ready-made picks in our armory which would do to pick these? The answer is absolutely not. I hope you've enjoyed looking at my Chinese locks.